Well, how do there, people in the viewerverse? Design Captain Steve with some professional camera padding at the start there, people, that you got treated with with your eye papers. Yes. Anyway, what's today's video about? Today's video is No Man's Sky. Would you rather leave it? You probably would. Yeah, that's pretty much what I cover here, isn't it? But yes, I done a poll. I done a poll over on my community tab over on YouTube asking how likely do you think it is that Hello Games will reveal or say more on their new game they are working on at this year's game awards in decemberance right let's go and bring that poll up on screen so you can see it and we can see what sort of reactions we got or responses i should say right so here's the poll on the screen here we go so not very likely at all not happening 33 percent pretty high but out in front is slim chance it could happen Maybe, but unlikely, is a 40% whopper. Look at that, it's right out in the lead. Then the next one is kind of have a gut feeling it might. On the fence, 50-50. So that one, that one's kind of like the safest of bets. No? Well, you can say, well, yeah, or whatever. Okay, kind of feel it's likely with the year that we've had with No Man's Sky. 75% chance, but only 5% hit that one up. And then the last one is, heck yes, I'll put money on it. It's happening. 2% chance. Oh, okay, okay. All right. So, yeah, it, it looks like the camp is a slim chance it could happen. Maybe, but unlikely. Hmm. Okay. Um, I'm going to delve into why I'm sitting in this camp. I'm sitting in a 75% chance that something might happen. In fact, I'm so, sort of hovering between these last two, but I'm I'm one of these people that looks at the glass as being half full and half empty kind of guy. I'm kind of the person that's quite optimistic. And that's probably why I've ballsed up on a lot of my speculation about the freaking void coming into iteration before now. You know, these things take time if they're ever going to happen at all, don't they? So here we go. Let's uh, scroll down a bit and let's have a look at some of the comments. So here we go. We've got Mike Kerr. I think memories of what happened last time. They announced a big industry event would tend to make me believe it's pretty unlikely. Just wait until it's almost done. Too many games these days release unfinished because they're rushed to announce. Hello, games are still the poster child for this very much so in fact they've even got the term now are you doing a no man's sky you know when cyberpunk released in that sort of pretty broken fashion it was like will they do a no man's sky so yeah i'm quite with you on that one mike Kerr. a very nice comment there sir i love your spectacles very nice spectacles and not a vampire i love that freaking username not a vampire yeah, the first time i read it i was like i didn't realize what i was reading pretty darn cool they have probably learned a lot from their mistakes made when no man's sky was released echoing sentiments from here I don't think they were saying much until they have a solid pro product close to releasing. Mm. Yes, you'd think that, wouldn't you? You'd think that. There's, there's, there's reason why I don't, though. So we'll go on there. David Johnson says, Honestly, I have mixed feelings about it. After the autosave update, kind of not the same feeling. I can't control my saves. I wish we could turn on the auto... Okay. I... I I don't know whether that's related to the poll, mate. <laughs> but, yeah, okay, yeah, maybe the No Man's Sky, the year that we've had. Okay, I see where you're going with it. All right, fine. Eagle Eye, they will most definitely say something about their new game. Okay, details and accuracy of what is said are very slim. Right, oh, Eagle Eye. Yes, they will most definitely say something about the new game. Yes, they might just say, yes, we're working on something more ambitious than No Man's Sky, which is what they've said so far, isn't it? However, okay, let's jump on over to here. So this is when Hello Games, No Man's Sky developer Hello announces its next game, The Last Campfire. Okay. And this was back in 2000 of the 18s. A long, long time ago, December the 7th, 2018. This trailer was added a lot later than that. It didn't have a trailer at first, this article. It was just pretty much, you know, it was like, we call it a Hello Game short, says Hello Sean Murray. Like a Pixar short. It's a fo to foster creativity and new voices of inside of the studio. Now we know that the new title that they're working on is quite an ambitious title in their own words. It's not a short. It's not a Hello Game short by any stretch of the imagination. So yeah, it's not quite the same thing. But when we scroll further down into here, and we're looking at this, the last campfire was announced at the Game Awards. 
okay? Which is fitting. No Man's Sky was first revealed at the show's precursor Spike's VGX Awards back in 2013. See, I always thought that the first time No Man's Sky was shown was at the E3, but no, I was wrong. It was at the VGX Awards back in 2013. And we know that we had until 2016 before No Man's Sky came out, which was three years. But how long was it from the announcement of The Last Campfire, which is a short, so much smaller title, 2018, to when we actually got its proper official announcement? Well, that happened, that happened, get this, in March 2020. Okay, so two years later. Now, we know that Hello Games is working on something ambitious. They announced that about two years ago. Now, I'm wondering whether now is roughly when it's a good time for them to say, right, this is our new IP. And I'm thinking they might do it, mainly because we know Sean Murray said that he had split his team in half, one to go and work on this new ambitious title and one to stay on No Man's Sky. But then this year, they said that they were going to get all the focus of the team to get it onto Switch to make this mini miracle happen. Again, their own words inside of the Hello Game studio or Sean Murray. So I'm wondering whether it was down all tools on the new project, get the switch done, then straight back onto the new project. And maybe that's why Waypoint was, well, 4.0. It was a marked update. And marked updates normally from Hello Games are usually big and they draw in a crowd and they bring in a heck of a lot of new players. Yes, Waypoint did that to a fashion. It brought back some older players. It brought back in some newer players. But it's, it's definitely not the spike that we see year on year, is it? So I'm wondering whether to bring in a lot more attention, whether they're going to use this year's Game Awards to announce their new game. Okay, so how long was it from when we got the actual official announcement to its actual official release? So this was in March 2020, and that's when we got the actual trailer drop around that sort of time. And, and then, that's the official PlayStation Europe um, trailer, anyhow. And then we got the last campfire release on the 27th of August. They do like to put things out in the freaking summer, don't they? And then even the title of this, I think it says that they're going to be relaunching this summer on PS4. So, yeah, I'm wondering whether we might get the announcement on this Game Awards, but, you know, then we've probably got a two-year wait before the actual game actually drops, so maybe 2025. But, yeah, that's my thoughts and feelings on it. Now, I'm basing this on patterns that we've seen up to date. I don't want to put this out as it's definitely happening. It's like I've done that poll, and the actual poll itself... You know, when I first wrote this poll, I was kind of around maybe in between slim chance it could happen and on the fence, you know? I I thought there's less likely chance than 50%, but probably a bit more than, say, 25 Around about a 30% chance it might happen. But then when I started looking at the patterns, at the patterns from previous through Hello Games, and then looking at the year that we've had with No Man's Sky, I think I'm more likely up into this camp now. <laughs> but that... I am, I'm, I'm one of these people that don't set my ideas in stone. I'm very up for change. I'm very sort of agile in that respect that my thoughts and feelings change quite regularly. But I just wanted to air where I am on this and give you my sort of thoughts and feelings on it. What do I think their new title may be? Now, this is where we go into the complete realms of speculation, people in the view of us. Because, you know, they haven't actually said anything, really, about what their title might be. But for myself, I'm thinking Hello Games have worked on this procedural engine. Okay, so I think whatever title they are working on, I think it's going to be procedurally generated. They've also said that it's going to be ambitious, like No Man's Sky, but it's not No Man's Sky 2. And their actual wording of stuff, it's hard to even get from it whether it's going to be a procedural generated universe or whether they're going to go a completely different route so it's going to be an interesting one i'm hoping that they do something a little bit more like say starfield where a lot of it is procedurally generated but then they've also done a lot of crafted elements and added in a lot more story and gamified things as much as i love no man's sky it's a very much an open sandbox experience and wherever you go you're kind of doing repetitive tasks because of just how sandboxy it is but it's nice because you can play no man's sky the way you want to play but you have to kind of make your own stories in there apart from the stories that are actually assigned inside of the quest line but once they're done then it's off for you to sort of use your imagination it'd be nice to see stuff where 
an update will bring in a whole new quest line and a whole load of lore and a whole load of story to go do. A little bit like how Destiny does with theirs, you know, with little CGI cutscenes and things. I know there's not procedurally generated, but that's that's kind of what I'm envisaging inside my head. And I'm hoping that they sort of cross over sci-fi and fantasy in in the same sort of genre. A little bit like Star Wars, you know, you've got the you've got to the, the force, you've got force capabilities, and you've got lightsabers, not just you know pew 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 pew. You know, it'd be nice to have a lot of sort of variant in the way that you choose to play in a space adventure game. Star Wars in space, or like, you know, Lord of the Rings in space. It'd be nice to land on a planet with freaking dragons coming at you, you know? <laughs> yeah, with a very fantasy style element. And I really hope they keep the graphical style of No Man's Sky, make it more cell shaded and cartoony looking. I love that sort of aesthetics, but that's just me. I know a lot of people would like new sort of uh, uh, real game engine -y type stuff on par with the likes of Unreal Engine 5. But you've got to think that, you know, No Man's... Oh, Hello Games is building their own engine, this procedural engine that they've built themselves and they've put a lot of love in and crafted it. I think No Man's Sky is a test bed for something grander and more beautiful, more polished and, and awesome. But we'll see. We'll see what they come up with. But that's kind of where my speculation is. And that's just going from gut feeling. Because when they say it's going to be as ambitious, if not more ambitious, than No Man's Sky, what's more ambitious than a procedurally generated universe? I can't think of anything. So I'm thinking it's going to be another procedurally generated universe, but done better, is what I'm thinking. But, you know, No Man's Sky is... You know, that's going to be a hard milestone to top. I can't wait to see whatever it is. And I really am hoping that, the, you know, December Game Awards is where they announce this project. And if it's not this, this, this December's Game Awards, then maybe it's going to be next. But um, considering that they've kind of got a track record of announcing their things at Game Awards... And being that they've been nominated this year for Best Community, it would be nice if they put something out there just to let us know why maybe things are slowing a little with No Man's Sky. I mean, when I say slowing a little, they've taken a different approach. Maybe slowing a little isn't the best sort of way of, of saying it. But what Hello Games has done is split their team into multiple teams to work on an update for like two months. And then another team will be working on the update that's coming that's another four months away, then six months away. And they've split their team up that way. So they're working on individual clumps rather than the way they were working before, where they'd all be working on one giant update for the year and there'd be radio silence through the year. Now they trickle out smaller updates and it doesn't feel as impactful, maybe, and that's probably why that feel of a massive great big 4.0 was lost this year, because they've just taken a different approach. But why have they taken that different approach? One is probably to keep us all interested and keep content coming out and the, the actual people coming in to play No Man's Sky as more of a linear sort of line rather than boom, like more of a roller coaster. Maybe they realize that's a bit of a problem for content creators having that lull where there's no news so maybe they're trying to make it more of an even kilter because let's face it hello games they rely quite heavily on the community on the reddits on the discords on the on no man's sky like youtube and twitter to sort of keep that interest in no man's sky and it, it works bloody well i mean right now sean murray can just stick out one emoji one emoji i mean what marketing team in the world can say that they can do that just one emoji boom Everything goes freaking crazy across all those platforms that I just mentioned. You know, Twitter lights up like a Christmas tree and they end up in the trending list off of one emoji. The marketing teams across the world would be in awe of having that sort of level of power. And, no Man and Sean Murray of No Man's Sky wields it. And he wields it well. And yeah, so there we go, people. That's my thoughts and feelings. I'm really hoping, and I'm very hopeful, and I think I've got good reason to be hopeful that something might happen at this year's Game Awards. So there we go, peeps. But I don't want to overhype it too much, but where I'm sitting is, I think it's going to be around about the 75% mark of chance that it might happen. I would be, I would be more inclined to say I'd be surprised if it doesn't happen. Um, but at the same time, I'm not going to be disappointed if it doesn't happen. It could just be, like was said in some of, some of these comments, that they don't want to announce it until they've got something tangible and they know that it's going to be the exact sort of thing that we're going to see it release. It's like with, um, you know, The Last Campfire. That looked exactly like it was advertised. Freaking awesome! 
I guess. And it delivered actually more. I actually loved The Last Campfire. If you haven't played The Last Campfire, The Last Campfire is an amazing little game. I've got a whole playlist on my channel. I put a link in the top right hand corner and I put it as an end card so you can hit it up and watch it. If you are looking for a beautiful game to play, it's actually made by Hello Games. And, you know, you, you want something to fill your time other than No Man's Sky, I strongly recommend The Last Campfire. Heck yes, I'm not endorsed or sponsored for this video. <laughs> okay, just putting that out there too. Honestly, did really enjoy it. It's a beautiful game. Until next time, people, you've been awesome. Take care. Goodbye.